Hi everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome back to my channel. This is a feel-good morning yoga class, perfect to start your day. So when you're ready, let's start in a comfortable kneeling position. Close your eyes and start to relax your neck, your shoulders, your back. Take your attention to your breathing, starting to do longer deep breath in and out through your nose. Take another long deep breath in here. Then slowly opening your eyes, let's come to a tabletop position. Bring in your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. When you now open the chest, look up. Exhale, round the spine, gaze towards your navel. Keep doing cat cows to warm up the spine, to remove any tension creating during the night. So you can take small and controlled movements, connecting your movement with your breathing. Trying to go a little bit deeper at each inhalation and exhalation. Come back to your neutral position. Bring the right arm up, look up. And when you exhale without touching the floor, bring the arm underneath your chest, looking towards the left. Again, inhale, arm up, look up. Exhale, twist. Let's do it last time. Inhale, arm up, look up. Exhale, twist, lowering the shoulder on the mat. Extend the left arm in front of you. And you can stay here, deciding how much weight you want to place on your right shoulder. Gently lengthening this part of the body. Coming back up, bringing again the arm up, look up. Exhale, release, coming back to a tabletop position. Let's go to the other side. Left arm up, inhale. Exhale, round, twisting towards the right side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist. Last time, inhale. Left arm up, look up. Exhale, twist, lowering the shoulder on the floor. Extend the right arm in front of you. And like we did before, you can decide how much weight you want to bring your left shoulder. So either giving a more intense twist or a gentler one. Slowly coming out of the pose, bring the left arm up, looking up one last time. And exhale, release, tabletop position. Tuck your toes, lift the knees, push your pelvis back, come into a down dog. So on your first down dog, you can do any movement you prefer. So either in pedaling your legs, maybe holding a little bit shorter stand. Now holding the pose static, start to walk with the hands towards the feet, bending the legs as much as you need to. Let's hold it here, holding the opposite elbows and start to swing side to side, keeping the head heavy, shifting the weight on your toes, Keeping the legs bent. Releasing the hands on the mat, taking all the time that you need. Start to unroll the spine, coming up with the head first, and then bringing the arms up, looking up. Ina, exhale, hands to prayer pose in front of your chest, and release, coming to a mountain pose. Again, inhale, hands up, look up. Exhale, forward fold, hands on the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward, extend the spine. Exhale, hands on the mat, walk forward with the hands, coming back to a down dog. Lift the right leg up, reach high. And exhale, step forward, lowering the left knee on the mat, low lunge. Arms up, look in front of you or up, opening the chest. Now we bend the arms, bring the hands behind the back and extend. Again, bend, opening your shoulder and extend. 
Last one, bend, push the elbows back and extend. Lower the left hand on the mat, twist towards the right, gaze over the right hand. Push forward with the hips. Slowly with control, step back with the right foot, coming to a support side plank, keeping the right arm up. Bend the right leg, bringing the heel towards the glute and hold the foot or the ankle. Once you hold the foot, push back and up, opening the chest. Then release. And with control, let's lower the right foot on the mat, lifting the chest up. Right hand on the right leg, left arm over your head, lengthening the left side. Exhale, left hand back on the mat, right arm over your head. Turn towards the mat, coming back to a tabletop position with the right leg extended. Tucking your left toe, lift the knees, coming back to a free leg down dog. And then release the right leg back. Left leg reaches high, inner here. Exhale, step forward, lowering the right knee on the mat and come up, low lunge. Bending your elbows and extend. We've been here before. Again, bending your arms, extend. Last one, bend and extend. Right hand on the mat, left arm reaches high, twist towards the left. Keep pushing forward with the hips. And then slowly stepping back with the left foot, coming to a supported side plank, keeping the left foot lifted. Bend the leg, heel towards the glute, hold your foot or your ankle and start to push back, gently giving a stretch to your shoulder. Release, left foot on the mat, lift your chest up, left hand on your left leg, right arm over your head, lengthening your right side. Releasing the right hand back on the mat, extending the left arm over your head, lengthen here. Now, keeping the left leg extended, bring the left hand back on the mat. Tuck your right toe, lift the knee, and come back to a free legged down dog with the left leg lifted and release coming back to a down dog pedal your legs extend your back pushing the hips up taking a last deep breath in here and down dog and then rounding your spine come to plank bend your knees back to down dog again round the spine coming to plank bend the knees down dog Keep doing the spinal waves to giving a nice last stretch. Then release the knees on the mat, push the hips back, lowering the forehead on the floor, coming to a child's pose. You can keep the knees together or widen them, so whatever is more comfortable for you, there is no right or wrong. Take a moment here to close your eyes to relax your shoulders, your back, your hips, to relax your breathing, giving time for your body to absorb the benefit of this practice. You can stay here as long as you like, or if you're ready to come out of this pose, slowly unroll the spine, coming back to a seated position. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel, to leave me a thumbs up, and if you want, you can follow me on Instagram too. I hope to see you soon. Bye.